Good morning kids, today we're checking out a brand new video from Connie X about how well, some names that the Digimon had in the English dub were better than the original names translated from Japanese. Let's hop in and see who made this list. In this video. The Digimon Adventure English American Dub. A divisive topic among the fandom. Some people insisting that it besmirches and degrades something amazing and pure in the original Japanese. And nah. people like me who obviously grew up on the dub. Who only yep. are fans of Digimon because the dub existed in a time period where that was basically the only way to get a show seen yep. in territories like the UK and the US. By its target demographic. And I will definitely concede He's that right. some decisions made in the anime dubs as well as all localization, video games, card games, etc. are not always the best. But I think there are actually some dub and localization decisions that I really like that make sense or are maybe in my opinion more descriptive or a better fit for that Digimon. So yes, on today's video I'm going to be talking help. about 10 Digimon dub names that I think in my personal subjective opinion are better than the original. Let's go. Boom, boom, boom. One that is not on this list is Omnimon. I really do actually like Omnimon. I think it's a good Hell name. Yeah. Now it makes me think of Omniman from Invincible. <laughs> and while of course I understand the Alpha and the Omega, that's kind of a retroactive thing that got added. Mm. Omegamon is also a great name though, and I do not think that Omnimon is a- That does make sense, but I'm just so used to calling him Omnimon that hearing Omegamon makes me think of something almost on equal power to him, but is not him. You, you know, uh, not not a ripoff, uh, a counterpart. There you go. A better name than Omegamon, but that would be the example of the kind of thing we're talking about. And my number 10 is Gallantmon. I like the name Dukemon. It definitely works oh, yeah. for a royal knight. Hmm. I think in Japanese, Dukemon probably sounds better to the ear, but Gallantmon... I, I honestly like Gallantmon just because, well, for one, he is meant to be a gallant warrior, a person that overcame in his past trauma and terrible nature to become the royal knight think is a much better name for English speaking audiences. Also to me, and maybe this is a personal thing, the term Duke doesn't necessarily embody goodness or a crusader for good. When I think of not. Dukes, I think of English Dukes who are sausage fingered weirdos or the guy <laughs> that looks like a bigger version of me from Resident Evil Village. Gallantmon uh. really does embody what he's all about, being gallant. It's a name that I think yes. is totally appropriate for this Digimon and to me slightly ekes out above the name Dukemon. Next up is the thumbnail. Controversial, I know, yeah, but I think Gatomon, Gatomon is a better name for the Digimon than Tailmon. Uh, Future Khan here, stepping Oop. in. I made it clear before I don't watch other Digimon videos so I don't want to accidentally crib ideas or anything, but while I'm editing this video, looking for images of Gatomon, I saw this thumbnail from huh. Digimon Central. This video's idea and the thumbnail were created before I edited this video. And while we're talking about well. different things, I wanted to acknowledge it real quick because I know some people might think that I would have stolen that idea. I haven't. Go watch Digimon Central's video, I'm sure it's great let's get back to it sure she has a tail but that's not really descriptive yeah. of her as a creature nor is it i mean also i like calling her gatomon because gato is the spanish word for cat so it just makes sense she is the cat digimon well probably not the only one but you know yada 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 Exclusive to her. Cat's tails is a thing, you know, cat's tails under a rocking chair, whatever. But it's not my first thing I think about when I think about cats, nor is it my first thing I think about when I think of Gatomon. That would be those giant paws, the lightning paws, you know? Uh, Pawmon doesn't sound great. You could have gone with something nah. like Clawmon, Nekomon, maybe. Mm. I think the dub name Taking Tailmon, which, I don't know, is a name, I guess. And doing something a bit fun with it, I think, is appropriate. People often say it's weird that they chose Gatomon rather than Catsmon or something. Why go with a Spanish Portuguese? name, but it's not like hmm. the Digimon creative team in Japan don't also use names from other countries. Tons of Digimon created in Japan have English names already. Yep. There's also Pokemon. a ton of Digimon whose name inspirations come from different countries. Ranamon, not Lanamon, yes I am going to be doing a top worst dubbed or localized Digimon name soon <laughs> too, comes from the Spanish word Rana for frog. Ayatamon oh, comes yeah. from the Ayatar, an evil spirit in Finnish folklore. So Gatomon being called Gatomon really isn't that weird for a Digimon. But even back not in the day all. I think a lot of people would have been familiar with the term Gatomon. 
Gatto. I was familiar with Gatto the cake. Bad jokes. Gatomon <laughs> definitely is fine, but yeah, Gatomon for me has always been the winner. And hey, Gatomon was in Adventure and then Zero Two. And you know who also is in Zero Two? Armadillomon. This is one I almost never see oh. anyone using the sub name for, even people Okay, that no, that was a good transition because it went from Gatto to Armadillo. Nice. A real sub purist? Because yeah, the original Japanese name for Armadillomon is Armadimon. Armadimon's fine. Hmm. It still comes from Armadillo. Not and oftentimes, bad. I do think that longer names don't work as well. But in this instance, I just think Armadillomon is superior to Armadimon. Weirdly, losing the low part of Armadillo makes Armadimon sound like it's something else, like a Armada or something. And I appreciate oh, yeah, the name Armadillomon all the more, because if you look at some, like, Digimon books and whatnot, we almost got the name Dillomon in the dub, oh. and that would have been awful. This one's very <laughs> close, but I just really don't see anyone, like I say, calling it Armadimon. Yeah, that would have been one little off from, uh, some adult jokes. Armadillomon, I think 90% of Digimon fans are comfortable with using, and that's a total dubism. Mon Mon! He's actually- Oop. Hey, it's Hold on, folks, we'll be right back. And we're back. Called Koemon. Koemon's fine. Coming from Ko and Etako, meaning a child monkey, totally works oh, okay. fine. And again, sounds great. And obviously in Japanese, works very well. Mon Mon for English speakers is dope, right? Works great, little monkey. But also, I think Japanese speakers are familiar enough with the word monkey. But what's great about the name Mon Mon is that we get Mon Mon. It's such a cutesy name. Really appropriate kind of for cutesy. the cute little guy. It scratches my brain in a similar way to there being Anjumon and Anjo Woman. <laughs> using the mon <laughs> suffix in a creative way. Incredibly cute, yeah, and I, I think get it. quite Japanese in its style of naming. Well, obviously not derived literally from Japanese words like Koemon is. I think that kind of repetitive naming convention is very common in Japan. Especially when you look at things like onomatopoeia, where you get like bidi bidi, ghetto ghetto. These onomatopoeic, oh, okay. almost cutesy sounds are often two words back to back, and that's why I kind of like mon mon. It's not onomatopoeic, but it almost feels like it could be. This whole list <laughs> is probably controversial, but here's a really controversial one. I prefer Myotismon to Vamdemon. Vamdemon is... <sighs> I, I also prefer Myotismon because, as, you know, every time I think about it, I, keep, I think back to, well, Events of Zero Two when they have, have uh, the Demi Vemi, uh, the Demi Devimon and being like, my lord Myotismon. I, I don't know why, I, I like the double my my. Like, my old my old, uh, no, I'm fucking it up now. Kind of rolls off the tongue well, but it literally just comes from vampire demon. Vampire demon. It's okay. Ooh. Myotis, though, is the scientific name for a bat, which is incredibly appropriate oh. for this guy. I kind of want to do a separate video on this fun. on Digimon names or... Okay, no, that actually makes a lot of sense and uh, explains a lot better why he'd be called Myotismon names that I misinterpreted as a child. And Myotismon is one of these ones. I didn't know what Myotis was and actually thought it was mitosis, which as a kid, all I knew was to do with <laughs> your body and your cells. So that kind of made sense as like blood to me. And then there's oh, other yeah. words that Myotis kind of evokes like myxomatosis, myositis. It just feels like a really good word for this evil guy. Vamdemon is good too, but maybe a little bit reductive, yeah, maybe a little yeah. bit safe. And that's kind totally true of like Devimon too, don't get me wrong. But I just like Myotismon. It really stands out as a cool name cool. for a Digimon. Next up is a Digimon. My Lord Myotismon, we shall show of you. Up, show of you. Damn it. Digimon Frontier pick. Digimon Frontier is full of name changes in the dub for some reason. And a lot of them I really don't like. Burning Greymon has caused a ton of headaches in the card games that we're only just getting over. Kazemon, I guess, sounds a little bit cooler to English kids, mm. but I think Fairymon was a perfectly fine name I mean, for her. Yeah. But there is one that I really like, and that is Metal Kabuterimon. Bulgmon, you know, it's a name. <laughs> Definitely doesn't sound super good in English, sounds okay in Japanese. It does have a nice reference to the fur Bulg, a Neolithic god of thunder and lightning which is Ooh, cool but with the warriors 10 largely being adventure references or at least adventure homages ancient beetlemon not being ancient kabuterimon always kind of like annoyed me <laughs> but metal kabuterimon i think is a great name for this guy and does tie in a little bit to adventure I like i'm it. a big fan of the kabuterimon family anyway and i especially like having metal kabuterimon in a line with blitz or beetlemon coming from ko kabuterimon though mm -hmm. apparently a working development name for metal kabuterimon or bulgmon was 
Biri Bimon, which comes from Biri Biri, that onomatopoeia I talked about earlier. Oh, yeah. Sort of the Japanese onomatopoeia for electricity or electric shocks. And it would have been like Biri B, Biri Beetle, or maybe even a B. Oh, that's maybe nice. I just want all Digimon to be bees. Number four, Wendigomon, who in Japan is called <laughs> Wendimon. This is a very simple one to me. It's better just for that go Wendigomon to the polls. <laughs> Wendimon sounds like it should be related to Petermon. <laughs> Not that having a name that's pretty similar to a girl's name is any issue in my opinion, but it just makes me think of Wendy Darling or a Wendy House and not of this big fearsome Wendigo. Hell, maybe yeah. that was the intent in Japanese. Maybe they wanted some femininity to leak through somehow. I don't know. Maybe. Probably reaching. Wendigomon just works perfectly and is even better than Endigomon, which sometimes they try to push for SummerSlam. Not a fan. Number three, Deputy Mon. His Japanese name is Revolmon, you know, because he's a revolver. Ocelot's favorite Digimon. But Deputy <laughs> Mon, I think, summed him up better as a Digimon. He's a rootin' tootin' shootin' deputy. Yes, he's a giant gun. And he is meant to be the sidekick to Stormon, who's meant to be the sheriff. And yes, he was probably called Deputy Mon in the dub to move away from gun names and gun imagery, but I don't care. It works for him super well. His characterization, even in Japanese media, I think Deputy Mon fits him quite well. Deputy Mon, Star Mon, these are names that I think are so mm -hmm. iconic and really work for a sort of Wild West theme. And Revolmon, yeah, I mean, I guess I think of revolvers when I think of cowboys. Our penultimate pick, I mean, Magna yeah. Angemon. Look Holy Angemon is a great name, and Holy Angemon pre mode really really oh, doubles yeah. or triples down on the holy vibes but he's an angemon now sure fallen angels exist but when we have those kinds of digimon that's usually indicated by their name devimon loops them on fall down mode the yep. name evokes a fallen angel specifically angels are generally perceived as holy already so a digimon being called holy angemon kind of feels redundant it would be like if seedramon's <laughs> evolution was he's called right. ocean seedramon like yeah we got the idea you don't <laughs> <laughs> to double down, whereas Magna Angemon feels like a step up. It adds new context, adds new power and strength. The word mm -hmm. Magna means great. Great Angelmon is a fantastic name oh, yeah. Magna Angemon. And again, not the Like it goes from a simple angel that would be a guardian to a great angel that is a warrior of the heavenly army. You know, like, uh, like, Oh, damn it, I can't think of the names of uh, God remaining uh, great angels. Holy Angemon is a bad name by any measure. I do weirdly think that Holy Angemon Priest Mode is a better name than Magna Angemon Priest Mode. But for just Magna Angemon, it really says what this guy is all about. The a great, great angel. angel. Final one. My Digimon dub localization name that I think is the most better, not good English, down the one that the Japanese Digimon team want to be the official romanization, whatever it might be, of that Digimon. Raidramon, Raidramon, shit's all over, hmm. Lydramon. Lydramon oh, yeah, is what they're really pushing to be the official name and romanization of this Digimon. They kind of always have. Now in the card game, they've made it official in English by calling it Lydramon rather than Ray or Rydramon. And Damn I kind of hate this. Now, I will contend the way I normally say the name Raidramon, not great. There is now an appmon called Raidramon because of like raid hard drives, oh. I guess. But its name I think Damn may it. also be an intentional reference to my boy Rydramon. And I totally get why they're going with Lydramon. Flamedramon or Flaydramon in Japanese. <laughs> almost made the list, is a flame dragon, and Lydramon is a lightning, lightning dragon. dragon. But Rydramon keeps all of those elements, lightning dragon, but also introduces Rai, the Japanese word for thunder. Rai Jin, the god of thunder. And, there it and is. because L and R are almost interchangeable in Japanese because of Japanese pronunciation, R and L only having one liquid phoneme, the R sound, mm. it's actually a better merging of ideas, in my opinion. Rai Jin, lightning, drama rather than just lightning drama. And for a while there, I really thought it was just that Lydramon and Rydramon were interchangeable, but they do seem to specifically push for Lydramon, L-I-G-H, to be the spelling when they really don't have to. Rydramon is a better dubism because honestly, I assumed it was supposed to be the original name and it just isn't. Mm -hmm. So yeah, Rydramon, Rydramon, that's the name that I think is just better for this guy. And hey, if you're watching this, you must be- I mean, I guess because it's a bit, uh, I mean, uh, ba based on uh, Raijin, the God of Thunder, you probably all meant to pronounce it as like Raidramon on the, instead of Raidramon, you know huge fan of Digimon, or at least reasonably interested. And as you saw at the start of the video, this one is sponsored by What's Not. What's Not- Well, it looks like the rest of this is gonna be the sponsorship by What Not and the outro. 
And well, so well, folks, that's going to be the end of today's video. I hope you all enjoyed this. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe for more. Link will be in the description below, and I'll see all of you folks next time when we flick on. Peace out.